that would actually ban some Christian books is working its way through the California State Assembly. Sponsors of Assembly Bill 2943 actually want to outlaw books that basically teach against homosexuality and gender identity. SaveCalifornia.com's Randy Thomason joins us now for the latest on this legislation. Randy, thanks for joining us. Yes. So tell us more well, about this bill. I mean, it sounds like a stretch even for California, a bill attacking free speech and freedom of religion. There's eight homosexual legislators, Democrats, all of them, who are sponsoring this bill. And AB 2943 would start by saying, OK, nobody can get counseling to overcome same sex desires. OK, so no help for adult children, adults who were molested as kids, and now they're adults, and they say, I want help to overcome these feelings. No help for you. But because the, the bill is actually written in a part of the law that deals with consumer complaints, it actually says no goods or services can be sold uh, for anything, any practice. It's very vague, very broad. Anything helping people overcome same-sex desires. So this is a pastor who's speaking, you pay a ticket to hear him speak, he speaks about overcoming same-sex desires, hey, that's that could be outlawed. A wow. church sells a book about overcoming same-sex desires. Well, there's a sale, it's a transaction, that could be banned. So this is very expansive, very tyrannical, and absolutely squashing free speech, religious freedom, and basic choice of people. This is an anti-freedom anti-American bill. Do you mind leading us in prayer for God's kingdom to come and his will be done? First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakadosh, and double honors to those great millstone, while lunch is true, and also to the whole elect that is scattered abroad. i like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson with the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the type of day lesson here, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. So I like to say shalom to all I listen and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Before we open up the lesson, let's get a quick precept. I saw Amos chapter 8. One moment. Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. We'll start here. <clears throat> And it reads, it said, Behold, the days are come, says the Lord power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a nor of thirst or for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the and from the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of of the Lord and shall not find it. And I, so we seen in the opening clip, in the opening video, that you know they are trying to what ban the what the Bible because what it's speaking against, speaking out against all these what abomination, all these what idolatries, you know, all this what uh, 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 wickedness that's going on in the world. So that about they trying to take away your what your freedom of speech. And I advise so famine of the word is coming. And I buy the Lord is getting ready what? To close the mouthpiece of the prophet. And I buy that's why the Lord said in Proverbs chapter uh five, I mean Proverbs chapter one, you know, around verse 27 or 28, it said that you know they shall seek me early and shall not find me. We're coming upon that time. And I buy, you know, they don't want you speaking out against what homosexuality. They don't want you speaking out against what? Pay your fear. They don't want you uh, speaking out against what? A uh, 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 beast of knowledge. You know, anything of wickedness. You know what I'm saying? We already knowing who pushing us. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Now, everybody, you know, we know that when you go to Job chapter 9, and verse 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked only for a, a certain time. And now, everybody, we see that what he's constantly was showing who he really is. You know, he is the wicked that the Bible speaks of. And now, everybody, so a lot of us get ready to get thrown into what? Prison, what you call FEMA camps, you know what I'm saying? Interment camps, what? Guillotines, you know what I'm saying? What they're getting ready to bring forth the what? These are uh, unrighteous decrees. And I about that they have prescribed. And I we seeing that what the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath, you know. So we seeing that these California lawmakers, which in fact are, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, you know, we can't, you know, you know what I'm saying? They are, you know, pushing their agenda that same sex, you know what I'm saying? We got to be careful. And I about that, you know. They're, uh, you know, they constantly 
uh, uh, trying to bring forth all this wickedness, all this uh, 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 idolatry, all this uh, 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 things that's displeasing to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. hey man, the Lord is getting ready to cleanse this place. This place is what? It's worse than what? Sodom and, and Gomorrah. You know what I'm saying? This place is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. And I'd about, hey man, man, this place is it, man, it's finished. The Lord's getting ready to what? To do a mighty work. And um, the title of the day lesson once again is uh, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. So let's read that again, Amos chapter 8, before I have a few more video, but we're gonna read this precept once again, then we'll go in into uh those videos and get a little bit more edification. So Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. Behold, the days come, says the Lord Power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run uh, to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find. And I'd be hey man, we upon these times. Bible prophets are rolling off the page. The end is being manifest right before I. And I'd buy, you know, say first they what? Hated him. Which who is that? Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. And they also shall hate you because what? You have his word, his testimony. And I'd buy, you know, the idea about these are not our words. These are the words of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, the one that sent us. And you get ready to be hated of all nations. And I'd better get ready to lay hands on you. And I'd buy, you know what I'm saying? So what, what, what is good? It's evil to them. What is evil is good. And I buy, man, this place is full of all sorts of wickedness, man. And the Lord is ready to cleanse this place. And once again, the title of the day's lesson, once again, is then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. So I have uh, two more videos. And after the video, we will start the lesson. And I hope that you will get edified. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, everyone. A big story just before our uh, days before Palm Sunday, Good Friday and Easter sacred time for Christians. Two ultra-Orthodox members of Prime Minister Netanyahu's coalition have introduced a bill that would punish believers for sharing the gospel of Jesus with prison time. United Torah Judaism Knesset members Moshe Gaffney and Yaakov Asher introduced legislation last week making it illegal to share in conversation or produce content online, in print, or by mail. Their explanation of the bill emphasizes a warning to stop Christians in particular. The punishment, one year in prison or two years for sharing with someone under the age of 18. Where students have decided to throw the Bible out of their dorms. So one of Britain's largest hotel chains actually decided to remove all of its Bibles from its hotel rooms in order not to discriminate any religion at all. Well, the words Jesus and Christ have been banned as offensive uh, by Marks and Spencers on its uh, online gift messaging. And we are, by essentially metaphysical constitution, a Christian nation. Now, if we don't want to be a Christian nation anymore, then that is going to be a very serious change in uh, our country and in, it's going to mark a, a significant transition in the history. The same law also prompted a court in Nantes to ban Christmas nativity scenes from public places last year. Well, EU authorities also point at growing hostility and violence towards Christians in recent years that largely passes unnoticed by governments. This will be done in California and across... So we see that the Bible is a true book. We see that they get ready to try to what... To, uh, Ban the Bible. We seeing that you know things are coming to pass left and right. You know that that what the uh, famine of the words is upon us, and we constantly warn you left and right. And out about you seeing that you know they're getting ready to try to bring it forth. And out of you seeing over in Israel, it already has begun to start the process of what uh, you can't say the name of the Lord with the fact we knowing that Jesus and Christ is not the true name of the Heavenly Father. The true name of our Lord and Savior, our great deliverer, is Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, the true believers, we know his name. And I'd buy, you know what I'm saying? We constantly seeking the Lord each and every day. And I'd buy, we seeing that the Lord's getting ready to do a mighty work. So we start today's lesson in Luke chapter 21. We start off in Luke chapter 21. One moment, Luke chapter 21. And we'll start up at verse 11. A quick lesson through the Spirit. And I hope that you will get edified. Luke chapter 21 and verse 11. And great 
and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famine and pestilence, and fearful sights and great signs uh, shall there be from heaven. Verse 12, but before all these, uh, before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and unto prison, being brought before kings and rulers uh, for my name's sake. Verse 13, and it shall and, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Verse 14 says, sell, sell it therefore in your hearts or your mind, not be uh, uh, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. Verse 15, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Verse 16, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends and some of you shall they call to be put to death. Woo, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah. So we right upon that time. So we seeing what? That uh, we seeing what? Rumors of war. We seeing what? Earthquakes and diverse places. What? Famine. You know what I'm saying? We seeing all these things that happen. The Lord is visiting the earth day to create. We seeing that these nations are rising up. The heathens are raging. And I, we already know that what? Persecution of the saints is getting ready to begin. The true believers of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, we would not bend a fold. That's why the Lord said that the same that endure, the same shall be saved. So we got to go through this great tribulation period, you know what I'm saying, all to get to the kingdom of heaven. That's why the Lord said in Acts chapter 14 and verse 22 that, you know what I'm saying, through much tribulation, ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven. And I, by the Lord, the Lord has overcome. We also shall overcome. And I, that's why the Lord said you got to pick up in the, the cross and follow him. That what? You got to deny yourself. Whatever come towards our way, we must constantly what? Persevere. Keep pushing. You know, do the work of the Lord. And I, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we will get to the finish. Like some of us will, uh, uh, will die for the truth. You know what I'm saying? If that's our lot, even your what? Your friends, your family, your loved ones will give you up in that time. You know what I'm saying? So when you go to Matthew chapter, uh, Matthew chapter, I think it's Matthew chapter 29 and now Matthew chapter 19, I think, and 29. Let's get that right quick. Let's go to Matthew chapter. I don't want to butcher it. Let's get a quick precept. Let's go to Matthew chapter 19, if I'm not mistaken. Matthew chapter 19, and we'll start at verse uh <clears throat> one moment. Let's start at verse uh 29. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 29. He said, and everyone that has forsaken houses, brethren, our sisters, our fathers, our mothers, our, our, our wife, our children, our land, for my namesake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Verse 30, but for but many uh, that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So that about, you know, we got to what? Forsake everything for this truth, even though we're going to be hated. A lot of us will be put to death. A lot of us will be put in FEMA camp. Get your head chopped off these guillotines. You know what I'm saying? Firing squad, hanging. But in the end, the Lord said, hey, you know, hey, you know what I'm saying? He said, be thy faithful to the end. You know what I'm saying? So that a lot of us will be what put to death. We understand that. So we seeing that, you know, they don't want you to speak out about what? Homosexuality. You know what? The the the, the alphabet people. You know what I'm saying? Same sex what marriage. If not, you know, they, they they already saying that they will place you in a prison. You know what I'm saying? You know, they not telling you everything, but we already not we already know we're not ignorant of Satan device. And I but we already know that this will lead also to the what? The MOTB, which in fact is the R V microchip. So hey man, we're here. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Hey, man, it is here. It is at the door. And we constantly warn you left and right. Let's go here. You know, I got a little bit under weather, but we're going to still push the uh, word. Uh, <clears throat> one moment. John chapter 15. John chapter 15 and verse 18. I mean, John chapter 15. Yes, sir, like And verse 18. And it reads that if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Verse 19, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Verse 20, remember the word that I said unto you, uh, that the servant is not greater than his law. If they uh, have persecuted me, they also, uh, uh, also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will also keep yours also. Verse 21. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, 
because they know not him that sent me. And I about, hey, you know, we already know that, hey, you know, a lot of people are against this word because what? There is no light in them. And I about, they're walking into what? The congregation of the dead. And I about, we're not of the world, even though we're in the world, but we're not of that mindset. And I about, everybody else going on with their daily life, going on with all this wickedness that's going on around it. We're ready to get out of this nightmare. A lot of people love it here in this wicked kingdom and they're getting ready to die here. And I about, we constantly warn you left and right. So what? Famine of the word is fast approaching. And I about, the Lord is getting ready what? To close the mouthpiece, which in fact, are the prophet, he getting ready to shut us up. The Lord going to tell us this, to hush. And the Lord's getting ready to bring what? That final judgment. You know what I'm saying? The indignation of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The Lord is getting ready to destroy this place. And I about all our enemies are getting ready to be cut off forever. So now, let's go here to Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter uh, 7. Ezekiel chapter 7. One moment. Ezekiel chapter 7. And verse uh, 26. And it reads, said, uh, it said, mischief shall come upon mischief and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the uh, from the priest and counsels from the ancient. And out of body, so so the Lord's get ready to pull this truth out of this world, out of this, out of this world. And out of body, you know, the Lord's get ready to bring that judgment, those destroying wind. So we seeing that over in Israel, they get ready to bring forth that uh that law over there. You know, if you speak out against uh 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 uh, uh the uh alph alphabet peoples, uh, you speak out against homosexuality. You know what I'm saying? They will, you will be placed in a what a prison, and out of up to what one to two years. And out of body, also in America. Uh, in California, the lawmakers, when in fact are gay lawmakers, you know, they are pushing the agenda. If you speak out about their agenda or uh, say anything about that, you know, same sex or uh, what sex or orientation, you know what I'm saying? You will be fine. Also, you will be placed in a prison. And I about famine of the word is coming. And I about first they hate it. Uh, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, and they also shall hate you for what? From the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, the one that sent us. So now, Let's read that again. Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 26. It said, Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be uh, upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest and the counsel from the ancients. And out of about, hey man, we're here, man. Hey man, the, the Bible is the true book. It's laying it out right before our eyes. Man, hey man, we are here. So now let's go here to uh, one moment. Let's go here. Let's get a quick precept. Let's go to Matthew chapter uh, 11. Matthew chapter 11. One moment. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 17. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 17. And it reads, and saying, we have piped uh, unto you and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you and ye have not Lamentated so that those are the men of the Lord, the one that's constantly what sighing and crying left and right, constantly warning you of these appended dangers, telling you what's getting ready to happen, warning you about war, warning you about pestilence, warning you about what famine, warning you about what great persecution, great death and destruction. And out about hey man, the prophets are standing on their feet and they're standing on fire for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, the one that sent us. And out about hey man, but the Lord said, the one if you despise the word, you shall die. And I but we country warn you left and right, hey man. A lot of people are the start are what are scoffing and mock, being great what are, 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 are despisers, constantly turning back on their true power. That same rebellious house, and the Lord's getting ready to cut them off. So let's get another quick precept. Let's go to uh Psalms, Psalm chapter 13. One moment, Psalm chapter 13 and verse. So, like, I think it's hold on one moment. Let's go back out. Some, not some. Let's go to uh. One moment. Let's go back out. Let's go to Proverbs. I think it's Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 10, 13, if I'm not mistaken. One moment. One moment. If I'm not mistaken, we'll find it. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 13, if I'm not mistaken. You see it? Yes. This is it. Uh, Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 13. He said, Whoso uh, despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that fears the uh, commandment shall be rewarded. Let's read that again. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 13. Let's highlight that right quick. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 13. Whosoever de uh, despises the word shall be destroyed. But he that fears 
of the commandment shall be rewarded. So we got a lot of people are despising the words, you know what I'm saying, of Yahweh by Hashem They're despising the prophet. And I bet same thing that happened in, 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 in Yahweh Shai time is happening right now. There is nothing new under the sun. That same rebellious house. And the Lord's getting ready to destroy them. And I bet we cannot wait. The Lord's getting ready to do a mighty work. So now let's go here. One moment. Let's go here to uh <clears throat> one moment. Let's go here to uh 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 Matthew chapter five. Matthew chapter five. One moment. Matthew chapter five, and we'll start up at verse 10. Matthew chapter five and verse 10. And it reads, said, it said, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Verse 11, Blessed are ye when men uh, shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all matters of evils against you falsely for my name's sake. Verse 12, rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And I'd about hey, the same rebellious house back then. They they persecuted our Lord and say they persecuted the prophets back then. And I'd about they was even put to death. And I'd about hey man, there is nothing new under the sun. And I'd about you know either they were here or either they will forbear. So now let's go here to Ezekiel chapter three. One moment, Ezekiel chapter three, Ezekiel chapter three and verse twenty six. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse uh, 26. And it reads, and, and I will make uh, thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, and thou shalt not be dumb, and thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. So the Lord's getting ready what, to cut the mouthpiece off. And I'd about the Lord's getting ready to bring the famine of the word. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the door of repentance is closed. And I'd about it is time to seek the Lord while he can be found. All these Bible prophets are coming what to pass left and right. And the end is being manifest right before our eyes. Let's read that again. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 26. And, and I will make thy tongue cleave, cleave to the roof of thy mouth that thou shalt be dumb and thou shalt not uh, to, uh, be to them a reprover for they are a rebellious house. Verse 27 but when, but when I speak unto thee I will open thy mouth and thou shalt say unto them thus said the Lord power Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai he that heareth let him hear and he that forbeareth let him forbear for there they are a rebellious house. And I'd about, you know, whether you hear or whether you don't hear really does not matter. Everyone is standing in their lot. And I'd about, the Lord is only coming back for that one third rim. And I'd about, hey, they shall uh, deliver you up to be afflicted. But I'd about, the Lord's going to give a, a, put a spirit on us, you know, to what to say when that time comes. And I'd about, hey, but well, we're going to be faithful all the way to the finish line. So let's go here to Revelation chapter uh, 2 and verse 10. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. And it reads, said, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So that the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Who is that devil? That's the so-called white man. What? The devil that the Bible speaks of. And I about it. The Lord said, be thy faithful, uh, you know, even to death. And he will give you a, a what? A crown of life. What? Immortality. Rulership. Spiritual power. It is right around the corner. And I about it. You know what I'm saying? What? We trust and believe in Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We will be in what? In the secret place of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The Lord shall be a what? A stronghold in times of trouble. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. And not about, hey man, we seeking the Lord early. And not about, and the Lord is getting ready to return. We cannot wait. Woo! The Lord is on the way. So now, let's go here to all. Uh, one moment. Let's go here to all. Uh, uh, Ezekiel chapter 33. Sorry about the back and forth to Ezekiel, but you know, that's where the Spirit leading me. Ezekiel chapter 33. And let's start at verse. Uh, Let's start at verse 31. Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 31. It says, And they uh, come unto thee as uh, the people cometh, and they sit before thee as uh, my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but they in their heart 
goes after their covenants. And that's why the Lord said, you know what I'm saying? You know, great misery shall befall them because what? They walking in great pride, you know, in covenants, doing thy will spirit. And that's why even though we're constantly what? Uh, uh, piping it to them, but they are not dancing. And that's why, you know what I'm saying? Whether they were here or whether they were, will forbear. Verse 32, and lo, uh, thou art unto them as a lovely son uh, of, of one that has a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. And not about what is that pleasant, uh, that pleasant uh, uh, song? You know what I'm saying? What is that song? That lovely song? That is what this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding will lead to what? To salvation. And not about, but a lot of people don't want to hear. They have a zeal for the Most High, but not according to knowledge. So now let's start back up at verse Ezekiel chapter 33. And verse 33, and it reads, said, And when this comes to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. And I'd be hey, in that day, you're going to know that a prophet had been among you. And I'd be hey, the Lord said, They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. We shall, we shall laugh at your calamity. And I'd be hey, man, it's coming fast to approach. They get ready to come. They get ready to come after what? The prophet, the true believers of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, So you're already seeing that they. It's rumors that they get ready to what? To take TikTok down. You know, a lot of these uh, show, social media sites, really, in fact, they're going to take the whole internet down because what? This truth is out there. The truth is constantly flaring. And everybody know the Lord said what? This gospel shall be preached throughout the four corners of the earth. Then shall do uh, what? The end come. And everybody, that's why they're trying to uh, take it. That's why they're trying to uh, uh, shut the mouthpiece up. But they, they but the Lord is going to shut us up. You know, they're only doing the will of the Lord from what the left hand side. So now let's get another quick piece up before we close out. Let's go here to uh, 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 2 Samuel chapter 6. 2 Samuel chapter 6. 2 Samuel chapter 6 and verse 27. 2 Samuel chapter 6 and verse 27. And it reads, says, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. Verse 28. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which has been so long without fruit shall be declared. And now about the truth is being declared. That's why they what? Trying to what? Cut the truth off. But that about hey, the Lord has already sent his word out through the entire world. And what? And the end is fastly approached. And I about evil is being put out. And the, and what? And deceit is being quenched. And I about so so the devil is getting ready what? to come down with great wrath. And I about the Lord is what? It's making Esau bare and bare. We're seeing what? The brick nations are rising. We're seeing that Russia and China are having that alliance. We're seeing that with Saudi and Arabia. Uh, uh, what South America, you know, so all of it's coming together. What they get ready what, to burn the whole and out about it, you know, wickedness has exceeded, polluted the entire earth. And the Lord's getting ready to cleanse this place with what with that fervent heat. They shall de deliver you up to be afflicted. And out about it, we're not even worried about it because what we're going to trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. He is the only way, and He is the only house. And I hey, let's go to our last and final script. Let's close out. In uh, Sirach, Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, we close out here. Sirach, Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, and verse, I think it's around verse 27. <clears throat> verse 28. So like, uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, Sirach, chapter 4, and verse 28. And it reads, it says, Strive uh, for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Let's read that again. Ecclesiastes, uh, Sirach, chapter 4, and verse 28. It says, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. And the Lord's getting ready to stand up, you know what I'm saying, and show out. You know what I'm saying? And out of body, you know what I'm saying? We're going to strive to the truth, to the what? To the finish line. The Lord's getting ready to return and do a mighty work. And we cuss you one, you left and right. The Lord is almost at the door. And out of body, hey man, the door of repentance is closed. And out of body, we're seeing that these red devils is getting ready to what? To try to perform their enterprise with this new world order, this digital society. Also, these what? Uh, uh, hokey pokies. Also, what? The MOTB, which in fact is the RD microchip. We're seeing it, you know, everything is coming together just like clock where the end is being manifest. Hey, man, we are rejoicing. We are so very, very close, man. I'm telling you, man. And the famine of the world is faster approach. It is time to seek the Lord why he can be found. So the title of the day's lesson, once again, is Then Shall They Deliver You Up to Be Afflicted. So I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikakadash. I'd like to say, Shalom, Shalom.